Okay, this last FRQ from this assignment is a good example of systems and how you can be asked questions like this on the exam. So we have an object released from rest above Earth surface from a height h as shown. So AI says, determine whether the system containing only the object is open or closed with regards to mechanical energy of the system and state your reasoning. Okay, so, sorry, if the system is an object, just an object by itself, an object can only have kinetic energy. Okay, it can only have kinetic energy and that's half mv squared. An object cannot have any potential energy because two things need to be present for potential energy to uh, exist. <laughs> so um, an object can't have gravitational potential energy unless Earth is included in that system. An object can't have spring potential energy unless that spring is part of the system. There's also electric potential energy, which we didn't talk about this year. But again, one object can't have it. It needs to be two objects or an object in a field. So if our system is the object only, then let's ask ourselves, what happens to the object's mechanical energy as it falls? Well, you if the Earth were part of the system, we'd say, oh, gravitational energy decreases, kinetic energy increases, the total amount is... Um, constant, but an object can't have gravitational potential energy. So its kinetic energy increases, and that's all that happens. So, hello Zoe. So the mechanical energy of the system increases, and that means it's an open system, okay? Um, there's an external force, and that external force is gravity, and that gravity changes the mechanical energy. So 1.4 AI. So AII. -I. says Sorry for that delay. I thought someone was coming to the Google Meet. AII says determine whether the system containing only the object and the earth is open or closed with regards to mechanical energy. Now, gravity is internal to the system and so the mechanical energy is constant. So the system is closed. Okay, so once we include Earth in the system, then I can include gravitational potential energy, and I can just say, oh, gravitational potential energy decreases, kinetic energy increases, those amounts are the same. So that's a closed system. I hope that that helps. I do have some other information on open and closed systems that I can link for you. If you're interested in that, let me know. I'll probably do it anyways, but let me know. Now, B is our paragraph. Determine whether the total momentum of the object Earth system increases, decreases, or stays the same as the object falls towards Earth. Also determine whether the kinetic energy of the object increases, decreases, or stays the same as the object falls. In a clear, coherent paragraph length response that may also contain equations and drawings, explain your answer. Okay, so our system here is Earth plus object. All right, so what forces are internal to that system? Well, gravity is internal to that system. Um, any other forces would be external. So uh, momentum is conserved. All right, and what is our parameter for that? Momentum is concerned, conserved, excuse me, if there are no external forces, right? No external forces. I know I'm not writing a paragraph, but I would add other words there. There's no external forces. I might even say, you know, gravity is internal. You're going to want to say that at some point. Uh, kinetic energy of the object will increase. Okay. Um, because as the potential energy that is stored by the system is converted into kinetic energy. So we have five points for that paragraph. One for saying momentum remains constant. And then one for saying because there are no external forces. One point for saying the kinetic energy of the object increases. 
one for explaining why, okay, the kinetic energy of the object increases because as it falls, it speeds up. Or you could say that gravitational potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And I'll read their little answer here. Um, uh, the gravitational potential energy of the object Earth system is converted into the kinetic energy of the object, which increases the speed of the object. Uh, furthermore, as the object falls towards Earth, the net external force provides an impulse to the object to increase its momentum, which increases its speed. Okay, so the momentum of the block is increasing, but the momentum of the system is not. And then we have one point for your logical paragraph. So seven points for that one. And I hope, like I said, I hope that helps you thinking about uh, not only open and closed systems, but also what are our boundary conditions for momentum to be conserved, for energy to be, to be conserved, and for things of that nature. So that closes out FRQ assignment number 11.